Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Today's video, I'm so excited because today I feel like we're doing a little bit of a trend, a little bit of a thing going on. I saw things just kind of happening on YouTube in the space. If I lost all my makeup, what products am I buying first to really like start getting my collection together again? Like if I was on a deserted island, what am I bringing with me? What's happening? I got lost. My house went up in flames. God forbid, knock on wood. Hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. These are things that I would honestly just go and buy immediately if I wanted to make sure I looked Gorgina. You know what I mean? Like if I want to look really snatched and slay, I decided to actually mix in drugstore and high-end products in here. So there's going to be a mix of both. It was honestly really hard to do this. I was very surprised at how difficult it was to like just choose like one thing. It was very hard and like I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to. You guys forced me. Against my will. I've just seen it kind of all over my subscription feed from a lot of different people. Tati did it, I think Ali Glines did it. So many different people did it and I thought it'd be kind of fun to just throw my hat in there, throw my dice in that game. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm not exactly sure who started this trend. If you guys can comment down below, I would love to like leave them, I'll pin that comment. That would be so cute. So I'm not exactly sure where this all started, how this became the thing. This is giving old school YouTube tags and like it's very cute to me. So I thought it would kind of just do it, it sounds fun. So that's what today's video is gonna be. I'm actually gonna do my full face of makeup with the products in this bag. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't watch it, you enjoy with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like seeing people's collections, if you guys like the gays. Here I am again, surrounded by gays. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, let's go get started on today's video. Okay, so I have my little bag here. This is the Impressions Vanity X Leanne V. So I just put all my stuff in this one thing, so I thought it'd just be kind of cute to get it all in one place. And we're gonna go into this, and we're gonna dig out of it. Also, as you guys know, I do own a cosmetic line. I have my brand, Lunar Beauty. I created products that are my favorites of so many different categories. I limited myself to use only like three Lunar Beauty products in this, because I didn't want it to turn into like a Lunar Beauty video. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know I have Lunar Beauty. I love Lunar Beauty. I created Lunar Beauty because it's things I truly love and believe in. But I did include a couple just because I'm like, <laughs> I had to include them because like, this is like when I feel the prettiest and I feel the most sickening. So I only have three Lunar Beauty products in here, but they are lovely. I feel like a little good, like, like, I feel like I'm like working, you know? So I'm gonna go and open this little bag up. My camera's about to die in about 30 seconds. Many, many minutes later. Okay, we're back. Not me switching out the like, thing I had. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If you guys watch Adam Ray okay on TikTok, you know exactly what I'm doing with that. Um, If you guys hear a little buzzing in the background, I don't know what to do about it. I'm devastated as well, shocked and disgusted. I am disgusted. We're gonna go in with primer, and I decided that the first primer I'm gonna buy is gonna be a drugstore primer, and a primer that I truly just love truly so much. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, yeah. I really just enjoy this primer a lot. I love the grip it has to it. It got that Gorilla Grip. It really does make my light makeup last longer, so I'm gonna put that all over the face. The mustache is going strong. I'm gonna put it all over the face. You guys can literally see attack immediately. It's supposed to be a dupe for the milk one, and I really do feel like it is a dupe. So this is one drugstore primer that I truly love and am a humongous fan of. Fan the flames of fate. Lovely. And that's not, you guys, it's not expensive in comparison to other primers out there, and I really do think it does a great job. It's just as good as high-end, if not better, and I feel like it even has more grip than the milk one, so I'm like, I'm using that one instead. Foundation, this was very hard for me. The one that is just like my tried and true, I've used it for so long, I can always depend on it, and I know it's gonna be sickening, is gonna be this. The Born This Way 24 Hour Undetectable Super Longwear Foundation. I freaking love it. I really do, I've loved it for so long. This is my second bottle, and even then I'm like running low on it. The reason I like it is because it really lasts a long time on my face, as well as it being nice medium coverage and it wears well with like my kind of complexion which is like normal oily combo skin so let's go and just buff that bad boy in to the face i'm taking the shade i think it's vanilla pearl we're doing pearl i should be using the shade vanilla but i don't have it and it gives you such a nice finish you would think that a foundation that says like born this way matte would leave you looking matte and dry and it doesn't that's actually the gag i think that it just like 
dries down to a pretty natural finish. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised. So this is how the foundation looks. It wears gorgeously, it looks beautiful. It's a nice, like I was saying, medium coverage. It is buildable. It doesn't look drying on the skin, but it's for oily skin. That's why I love it. It's gorge, it's stunning, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. Next, you guys, concealer. This one was very difficult. <laughs> because I'm I'm torn between two. The one I would use for like blemishes and all over the face is gonna be the NARS Soft Matte Pot Concealer. That's the one, I'm like, baby, that's the one. You are that girl, you are the one, you are my delicious diva. But the one for underneath my eyes, I wanna go with Hourglass. Vanish. It's like a combo of these two, I'm, I'm struggling. So I'm gonna use the NARS one under the eyes today because I like it just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's put this concealer on. This shade's a little bit deep for it, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of it for the coverage and correction, and then I'll brighten with a different shade. But this concealer is amazing because it looks fantastic under the eyes. It dries beautifully. It doesn't look uh, drying, but it is still mattifying, which I love so much. Okay guys, so before I set my face and using my top set face purchaser, let's go and do like our creams. Let's do all of our creams first and then we'll set. Cream product, cream bronzer first. The product I would go quickly just to repurchase because I love it so much. And I've used it so many times. Rare Beauty Power Boost Bronzer Stick. I love it. I'm sorry, I love it so much. It's so easy to use. I love everything about it. I really do. Easy to blend, easy to go on. It's creamy. I just love when cream bronzers blend easily. Like I need that shit to be easy as fuck to make my Life easier. Also this brush, uh, this is the Laura Los Angeles uh, L24. I just love the color. Also you guys, what I will suggest too, whenever I'm doing like bronzer on the nose or like cream contouring on the nose, this is more of like a, a bronzing, more bronzing. This is not contour, this is just giving color to the face. This is definitely a bronzer. I will say liquid bronzer on the nose does not last on me. It's, it needs to be a cream, because the liquid, I don't know why they just vanish faster. I'm gonna look so freaking delicious by the end of this video, you guys. You're gonna wanna eat these cookies. You're gonna wanna eat this booty like the groceries, I'm telling you right now. So yeah, I love this. I love this bronzer, I think it's beautiful. I love the way it looks on my skin, I love the way it blends on my skin. Everything overall with the Rare Beauty Cron Bronzer. Bronzer stick is lovely. A close second was the LYS bronzer stick. Next, cream blush. This is the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. The problem with this one is that it's hard to come by. That's the issue I have with it, is that it's hard to get. I'm like running low on mine and I like can't find it anywhere. And it's actually, actually pissing me off. It's easy to use, it's so blendable, it's lovely. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love the glow it gives me. Oh, if I wanna be hot, this is the product. Holy shit. Blending into that bronzer, giving that nice rounded cheek. By the way, close second, you guys, where I almost, like, I almost chose this one instead. The She Glam Colored Bloom blushes, like the ones that are in, like, the little nipple and the chupon. And I almost just chose that as my thing, but I'm like, you know what? This is, like, the one I use the most, and that's why I'm, like, running low, so I have to put it in this video. But if it's out of stock, I'm gonna cry for us all, okay? I'm crying for us all. I'm so sorry. If it, it, Honestly, if it is out of stock, check out the the She Glam ones. These are freaking insane. And they're very inexpensive and they look just as beautiful. Look at my base. That's all about the base, no travel. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I've had enough of myself, I have. So the product I'm gonna use right now to set underneath my eyes, underneath my eyes is what I meant, is gonna be the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder for now. Until my powder launches, this is the powder that I'm using. <laughs> Soon. Taking a little puff. I also just really like this powder. It's very thin, it's very lightweight. I enjoy a thin setting powder for underneath my eyes. I really want it to be lightweight and dainty and thin. I just love it, that little blur effect. I love a little blur effect and I've always used the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. I've loved it for so long. If you have large pores, setting powder is lovely. <laughs> I just like the Born This Way line in general. I like the Born This Way concealer. I like the Born This Way regular foundation that's not matte. They really ate, Too Faced ate heavily with the Born This Way line in general. They really ate that. But you guys, so for foundation powder, I'm gonna use a foundation powder to set the rest of my face. They are different. Foundation powder is like gonna give you a little bit of coverage, a different effect. Setting powder is like really to set your makeup in place. Foundation powders kind of give you more coverage to give you a different effect, to, to mattify potentially, to give you a little bit of a glow. It just depends. So the one I always reach for and the one I use all the time, and this is one I would just as my go-to, is actually the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Powder. This one's broken, 
so I apologize, it's broken off. This is in the shade Light 15. I love this powder. It's no longer, it's like barely domed because I use it so often. And what I do is I like to use a mineralized foundation powder on the rest of my skin to set it in place, give me a little bit of a coverage, but not make me look too mattified on like my cheeks, because I do like a little bit of like life back there. So I'll lightly dust this everywhere to kind of make sure everything kind of marries together. This is a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. Truly, ever since I discovered these, I really haven't like gone back. I still use the MAC ones, of course, but these are more inexpensive and they're so beautiful on the skin. So now that all the creams are down, we'll go into powders next, but let me show you guys on my phone what my skin is giving, because I'm telling you, it is gonna be giving, baby. Let me show you guys the skin real quick. You guys, I'm so sorry that we're giving. Where are my pores? Well, they're there, because I'm a man, but the skin is giving. I also just like how the blush kind of shows a little bit of that sheen through. You guys see that? A little bit of sheen is still left. It's lovely. I love these. Now let's move along to our bronzer. So, <sighs> RIP to Miss Tantastic by Marc Jacobs. This is truly one of the bronzers I still continue to use all the goddamn time because I love that it has a big ass mirror and it's just a large size. It's easy to use. Ow. Okay, so I would, honestly, I would always use Tantastic. I really would. But because it is, you know, RIP, no more Marc Jacobs Beauty, we're gonna actually use another bronzer I am absolutely obsessed with and I use all the time. This is actually the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. I love it, I love the formulation of it. It's so thin and lightweight, but it builds really nicely. Those are my favorite kind of formulas that are thin, lightweight, but they build like a bitch. There's not a lot of kick up on it, it's lovely. Honestly, they, the powders are similar to like my Outer Dimension palette. And we're gonna just bronze up the skin with Miss Shady Biz. I love this color too. It's funny cause like doing a video like this, it's like I'm excited because like I'm gonna look like how I wanna look. Like this isn't a, a video where I'm like testing over hype new things. Like these are products that I genuinely love and products I continue to use all the time. It makes it a little bit different. I'm enjoying it. It's a little different of a vibe for me. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this little tag, even though no one tagged me in it cause no one loves me. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to a blush and then we're gonna do highlighter. Blush, I had to include this, I could not because I literally use it all the freaking time. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush. It has everything I freaking need in here. And I use it all the time. And I told myself, I was like, Manuel, you get three Lunar Beauty products in your video. Three! We're gonna mix in Stargaze, Stargaze and Twilight for today's cheek. We're just gonna warm up this freaking cheek. When I made this palette, I wanted like the perfect blush palette. It's 35 bucks. Like there's literally blushes out there that are $35 themselves. So for 35 bucks, you get six. Like it's freaking insane. One of the best blush palettes I've literally ever seen and used. And it makes sense because I literally made it. Period. I wanted it to be perfect and it literally is. And one of the shades, which is actually Soleil right here, is actually a little bit of a shimmer. So you can use this as like a blush topper. If you want to add a little bit of a sheen, this cheek, don't talk to me, don't look at me. Take a little bit of Pink Moon, blend that into my under eye. I couldn't not include this in this video because this is truly one where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna feel beautiful if I'm wearing Moon Prism. Okay, so now I want to highlighter, you guys. The highlighter that truly I've been using nonstop and I love it because of like the way it looks is actually this one from Dior. I know some products, of course, are gonna be a little bit higher end. Some are gonna be more drugstore. This is gonna be a higher end one today. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I love it because I actually use every single shade for something. Tell you, for example, my cheeks are a little bit more pink. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the pink. I'm gonna put it on, and the cool thing about this one is that I feel like it really does melt into the skin, even though my skin is powdered. That's a little bit of a struggle, you know? Highlighters on powdered skin, it can look a little like oof, dusty, crusty and potentially musty. And what I'll do sometimes, you guys, is I'll use that bronzy one on my eyes. I'll use it as a kind of a bronzy, soft shimmer if I really am feeling the fantasy. But I feel like it just gives you this ethereal glow with a lot of options. It's ethereal, but it can get blinding if you want it to be. Like, you can make it softer, like how it is right now. I can wet my face, put it on, boom, blinding. Blind as a bat in the daytime looking for food. You know what I'm saying? No, not really. That is that. And you guys, that would, I would say, would be the base. All about the base, no treble. I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting spray on before I move on to the brows and eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that is. This is my newest obsession. And I don't know if you guys have seen me use this already. This is the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. 
clean, hydrating, and long wear. I'm literally obsessed with this. Y'all hear that? There's barely any left. I just love this because of the way that it mists out, the way it looks on my skin. The smell is like strange-ish. Cause it smells like kind of like seawater. It smells like the ocean. I just like the way it makes my skin look and I feel like it really does make my makeup last a lot longer. So we're gonna do a little mist of this. So fine, like Pedro Pascal fine. Ooh, that's lovely. I feel like Beyonce in the Super Bowl. Beyonce, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's move on to brows now. I'm gonna go and do one brow that we can do it together in spirit and solidarity. Um, I'm gonna go in with the brow products that I truly love. These are the ones I would literally go out and buy right now if I ran out because I love them so much. And they are gonna be both from Benefit. These are the Fluff Up Brow Wax and the Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil. Four in Precisely Brow Pencil and just the, the Fluff Up Wax. This is actually more of a recent launch than theirs. And it's quickly gone into my routine. Like, I love it so much. I just like that the pencil is very pigmented and it's easy to use. Like I like products that are very user friendly and everyone that I've got into using Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil says it's like just easy to use. And I feel like it lasts longer than other pencils I've used in the past. Like I don't go through this as fast as I go through like a Brow Wiz from ABH, you know? I have not been doing a super snatched brow recently. Like I'm not really into that look anymore. So I just do more of like a fluffy natural brow. Like I don't want it to be too much. I don't want my brows to look like they're doing the most, you know? And now we're gonna take our little fluff up brow wax and make, okay, so think of a brow wax, but in a like spoolie form. That's why I like it so much. Cause it really does set your brows in place and kind of keeps them together. Gives them that like dense appearance that a brow wax would give you like very more full and fluffy as I was saying, but it keeps it in place. If you're like me and you have fine hair, anything that like makes your hair full, bitch, give it to me. It looks natural but more just like filled in and good. It's giving slay the house down boots, mama. Mama, yes, God. Baby, pop that tongue, bitch. Okay, enough, manual. Boots the house down, mama, yes, God. I'm gonna do my other brow off camera and I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna come back to do our eyeshadow together. Bye. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled. It came over me. It did. Okay, you guys, so now moving on to eyeshadow, I went ahead and primed my eyes. I just put the same NARS uh, Paw Concealer all over my eyes. But for eyeshadow palette, this is the one. I'm so sorry. It is, and it's the other Lunar Beauty product I have in here. There's one more after this, but still. Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one. Perfect neutral eyeshadow palette, in my personal opinion. I created it to be the perfect neutral palette, in my opinion. It has 10 matte shades. 10, oh my God, it has 12. I created it. It has 12 neutral shades and six hyper metallic shimmers. It's honestly that girl, like I'm sorry, like truly I cannot tell you enough how great this palette is. I'm taking the shade Vibes and I'm gonna put that into the crease of my eye. Cause it just, it has everything. It has neutrals, it has warms and it has cools. You can use it to contour if you want with milk tea. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. If you guys have Nude Prism, and you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments. Sound off. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on it. I'd love to see reviews, opinions about products I've created because of course, as you guys know, I have like a vision for things. I know what I want and I really want to accomplish like something when it comes to like a product. Like I'm always like really going for something. Like I really have a vision for it. I always hope that translates well to people. If you guys like it and you see that, please let me know because I just, it just, it helps me, you know? It really does, it helps, it moves me, if you will. I'm taking the shade Classic now, and put that on the outer corner. I'm just gonna do a very basic, simple eye, just so you guys can see how it works, how it looks, what I'm using. This palette, you guys, it just blends like butter. Must be jelly, cause jam don't shake. I really put my whole lunar bussy into this. You guys, I look, I put my whole lunar bussy. I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Laura on my lids. It's inspired by Miss Laura Lee and with it rock with it. And this is gonna be like one of my little hyper metallic shimmers that just read so insanely gorgeous and sparkly and beautiful on the eyelids. I just wanna do a nice basic look today. Look at that, I'm gonna take a little bit of actually so icy in the inner corner as well and just kind of feather that in. But this palette really was like something I was so passionate about as a neutrals lover myself. And what we accomplish is to me, magic. Eyeliner, this one's another tough one because I feel like eyeliner is actually the one thing I revolve like through the most. Like I kind of go through those the quickest. 
like I change up my favorites quickly when it comes to like liquid eyeliner. But one that really has stayed like strong, which I love formulation wise and the way it looks and how dark it is, is actually the one from House Labs. The House Laboratories liner is so freaking good, even though it doesn't have a bristle tip applicator, which is my biggest pet peeve of it. Like I wish it did so much. I just love the formulation so much that I'm like, you know what? I gotta forfeit it on this one because I think that the formula is so good. Like look how easily it goes over my reflective glitter filled eyeshadow like come on i'm not gonna do a wing with it because i don't really like doing wings with applicators like this but i just want you guys to get the vibe with how nice and dark and pitch black it is it's just so beautiful like it truly is they really did that with this one i just wish the applicator was a bristle tip it's okay because you know what i can do technically you know what i can do and you know what i will do it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit of deeper from nude prism i'm just gonna kind of follow it along Kind of blur out the edge a little bit. Maybe give me a little bit of a shadowing. Just like a little shadowing. I'm also gonna go and curl my lashes on this side because I just wanna put on my mascara. And then I'll do the other eye off camera really quickly. But I just wanna show you guys the routine, the, the tea. I'm gonna curl my lashes. My favorite lash curler is from Shiseido. It's a dark metal gray. Cool, glad that we got that together. A two pump chump right there. So the mascara that I always just tend to reach for and that I truly just think it's fantastic is actually from She Glam. This is the She Glam Double Ended Mascara. It was hard, it was tough. It was between Sky High and She Glam, but because this is a dual-sided one, it kind of just won me over a little bit more and it keeps my curls stronger. The She Glam Mascara is so freaking fire and it's like $5. It's actually insane. On this side, it kind of really, you know, keeps the curl, keeps it lengthened, keeps it strong and good. And then the other side, it's like thickening. I just like that it has kind of like a two-in-one moment, a two-in-one vibe. You guys can listen to the jackhammering as I do that. You guys know my lashes never look curled like that after putting on mascara, they never do. This isn't necessarily waterproof, but it's very water resistant. It's a strong, the force is strong in this one. And I'll use this side, and I'll do another coat with this, and it looks insane, you guys. For me, you guys know this is like a feat. This is fire. I really, really enjoyed this mascara a lot. I've liked it for a long time since I literally used it. I loved it. So this one's fantastic to me. I just think it's really good. Had to include it because I use it all the time. Um, okay, I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera, put mascara on, do my liner, and I'll be back together. So now that we're back and the lash is on, I didn't. I decided not to include a lash because I'm like, I just decided not to. Okay, not everyone wants to wear a lash, and that is okay. And that's okay! This style that I'm wearing right here is Lunar Beauty Flare. It's like my go-to lash. One thing I forgot to include, hello, is this pencil that I put in my waterline. This is something I always use and something I'll always reach for. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. I absolutely love this eye pencil. I love the color of it because it's not white, it's nude, but it's not too yellow and it's not too pink. It's hard to describe, but it really is just like the perfect color for me. This is so far the face. So let's move on to the lippy. First things first lip liner. This is my go-to lip liner. This is the one I would just purchase again and again and again. This is the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. It's just delectable, David. David, I cannot show you everything. Okay. It's amazing. I love the color of it. I love the formulation of it. I love how like long it is. It's a big ass pencil. I just think it looks so flattering and pretty. That's that color and it is <laughs> Is it not so good? It's giving like 90s now lipstick this lipstick I wear All the damn time. I'm obsessed the L'Oreal color reach 800 Ferris nude This is the one I also love the Rimmel London 42 you guys already know that but that's hard to find it really is for me, the perfect like nude color. To top it all off, the last Lunar Beauty product I'm including in this video, Lunar Beauty Lip Glosses. Just honestly, all of them, truly, they are the best lip glosses I've ever used. I'm taking the shade today, Dreamy, one of my favorite shades. They give the most gorgeous shine. I actually had the doe foot applicator itself triple flocked to hold as much product as possible inside the like actual wand. Oh, so juicy. And you guys, that is it for my entire video. It's empty, it's all gone. I, I was unloading as I kept going the products from the bag. These are the products I would repurchase, I would rebuy, I would reuse because I truly do feel absolutely gorgeous in this combination of product. As a man who is oily combination, who has larger pores, who has more textured skin. These are the things I feel beautiful in. Like I genuinely feel feminine and pretty. If I feel pretty in something as a man, like imagine how pretty you would feel watching as a girl or a boy or they them, you know, or trans, whatever you might be. 
I just feel my most feminine energy in something like this. That's what I like. I like to look snatched, but effortlessly snatched, if you will. Like, damn, that bitch knows how to do makeup, but she's sweet and angelic even. I'm so glad I got to see this kind of trend and tag floating around. If I lost all my makeup, what products I would use. This is my collection. Like, these are my girls. Do we like... Are we enjoying? I'm sorry, like no one can really tell me anything in, th in this kind of glam. Like, what is there to tell me? You guys, I'm feeling too, I'm feeling too, I'm my fantasy. Bring back to earth, come on, get the head down. I hope you guys had fun watching. I actually had a lot of fun making this. I will try my hardest to link products down below. If you made it to this part of the video, fingers crossed products will be linked. You know, no promises, but there's hope. Anyways, you guys, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. Oh, hello. Probably miss a doubtfire. <laughs> Horse hair. <laughs> wow. Ciao. Anyway, so big boobs.